Yo, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here. Welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to wish everybody a happy, happy Sunday. I hope it's going to be a very good one for y'all. But because today is Sunday, it's Champ Sunday for the Call of Duty League, which basically today it's like the NBA Finals or the NFL Super Bowl, except for Call of Duty. So it's a pretty huge game, a pretty important game as well. But you as a viewer can actually earn some really cool in-game Modern Warfare and Warzone rewards and also a Call of Duty Black Ops Code War beta code. So I'm going to have a video to link with more information about that down below in the description. But pretty much all you got to do is watch on the CallofDutyLeague.com website, sign in with your Activision account, and then link that account with your Xbox, PlayStation 4, or Battle.net account, and then you're all set to earn some free in-game rewards and the chance to win a Black Ops Cold War beta code. But today, guys, I wanted to bring y'all an update regarding hackers in Modern Warfare and Warzone, which honestly is a very, very rewarding and a pleasurable video for me to make because hacking has been horrible over the past couple of months now. I've been getting hit with the hacker, it seems like, every couple of games now. And it's just really, really frustrating having to deal with an aimbot, wall hacker, unlimited, whatever, which honestly... Inside of a AAA title 2020 video game, it should not be happening, but Activision is actually taking legal warfare, which may be a bit dramatic for me to say. They're taking legal action against one of the biggest and most popular sites to install hacks on. I'm not going to name the name in this video, but I am a part of the Discord channel, mainly because I do like to lurk around and just see what new hacks people are creating and posting about. I've kind of been keeping up with the hacking in Modern Warfare since it really went mainstream here on the channel as well. But there's a couple of Discord channels that are specifically for the hacking community. It's like an entire network of people that all know each other. And yeah, right now they're all kind of upset because like I said, Activision is taking legal action against them. And I posted this image on screen over on the Warzone subreddit. And yeah, they're pretty much stating they cannot make hacks anymore because it's a violation against Activision's terms. And if they were to continue, then the big, big scary company that is Activision is going to take it to the courtroom where obviously this smaller company that's probably ran out of their mom's basement is uh, not going to far too well against them. So they are starting to stop and ceasing their you know, hacking, creating a business, whatever they're, they're uh, doing. But if you're asking, is this enough to really get rid of hacking websites and hackers in modern warfare? You're damn right it is, but could it be enough to permanently remove them? Obviously not. They're, the only way to do that is by creating an anti-cheating software inside of the game. But it is enough to really scare the hacking companies and the people who hack in the game because, you know, Activision is going to be taking legal suits against the hacking companies. Now, when it comes to the players, they are definitely going to be sending out bans. But how swift that ban is going to be, that's where the question lies. It could be weeks, it could be months before anything is done. And I've reported hackers many, many times now. And I've yet to receive a notification that the report I filed resulted in a ban. And these are obvious aimbot hackers and wall hackers that I've reported, which if I can find gameplay of, I'll put some up on screen for you guys right now. But if Activision is sending out legal notices to companies, it for sure is enough to scare them. But at the end of the day, truly the only way to fully eliminate hackers completely is by having anti-cheating software. Kind of like what Fortnite has done, which is very, very good because, you know, there, there's no hackers at all in that game. And if there is, then the software detects them and they're banned within a couple of minutes. Um, Call of Duty, y'all need to get on that for sure. But definitely this is a huge step in the right direction. And I think we should all be happy to see that Call of Duty is taking some some sort of a stand against these websites instead of absolutely doing nothing whatsoever which could cause their game to crash and burn which at the end of the day we don't want to happen i kind of wish that maybe we could get another update from infinity ward and activision because if they were to state in that update yeah the next step we're doing is taking legal action against all the sites who violate our cheating terms of service that right there would probably put off a bunch of these websites and then maybe they could talk a little bit about what they're doing against the players like that would truly make a huge impression on the players who actually play the game legitly and I know I would have a more positive mindset instead of thinking all the time like damn what kind of hacks am I going to get into today I will say it's been a bit of a better experience for me personally because I haven't ran into as many hackers but others may have different experiences so tell me down below in the comments your thoughts about this and if you've been getting into games with hackers frequently or often or not that much again tell me your thoughts down below thanks for watching I love you guys so so much and again guys I am past 1000 videos strong 
Um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I'm not going to tell you guys what that is, but I will be doing a giveaway with my 1,000th video, um, which I do have recorded right now. I just got to edit it and everything. So that's going to be going up sometime next week, guys. And uh, yeah, be on the lookout for that. It's going to be a pretty simple giveaway. You don't have to do all this liking, subscribing, all this other BS stuff. So uh, I'm going to talk more about that later on. But yeah, guys, be on the lookout for that. Thanks for watching. I love you guys so, so much. Till next time, I'll see you all later.